Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry about all the external noises this morning. I'm pressed for time and I don't have time other time to make this video. It's just the intro for the rest of the video so I promise it will only be noisy for the beginning. It's raining like crazy outside. Um, that's probably what you're going to be hearing in the background is rain falling. So um, this is the last video of our upgrade series or of what I've got for myself for Christmas and what I've upgraded to. So the last items will be the gaming mouse pad and uh, keyboard set. But there's two different sets. If you're interested, join me and let's check it out. I think you guys would have noticed that I've been placing the specs of my upgrades on the bottom of the video. Um, please comment and let me know if it's a good idea. Do you like to see it like that? Or should I rather just put all the specs in the description section? And my idea was to try and keep the people more interested in watching the video while they are looking at the specs of each item that I'm putting up. So for the guys who are interested to know why did I get a gaming mouse, I haven't used a mouse pad in ages, in years. So why now? Well, for those guys who are wondering why I got the mouse pad, there's a couple of benefits to having a mouse pad actually. And here they are. In the past, mouse pads was required. Because the mouse that you had had a ball that was rolling around. And if you didn't have a place for the ball to grip, you would lose accuracy and the mouse wouldn't move like you would want it to move. These days you've got optical sensors. Except optical se sensors doesn't work nice on reflective surfaces. There are three main reasons why I got a mouse pad. Number one is greater accuracy. Number two, it prevents the surface of your table being scratched. Remember you're moving that mouse up and down, up and down the whole time, eventually it's going to scratch the surface of the table on which you're working, or whatever surface you're working on. It's going to scratch that surface. Number three, it prevents the rubber feet on the bottom of the mouse to be scratched off quicker. So it actually extends the lifespan of your mouse as well. And basically because I wanted RGB and I wanted something new, that's why I got what I got. So without further ado, Come and check out what I got and how it looks after everything's finished. And remember guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hey, I would love to hear from you, honestly. And uh, enjoy this video. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Okay guys, so the first item of the day that I got as an upgrade for my Christmas present is the Inferix M10 and the Inferix R10 gaming mouse and gaming mouse pad. It's the XPG RGB um, edition. So let's see what it looks like with my new Christmas present. <laughs> Look at this, Christmas came and Christmas has gone. Let's see. This thing is very sharp. So let us see what we have. Okay, so let us quickly see. So apparently we've got the mouse and gaming bed. That's a gaming mouse pad, that's all it says. Scan for details. Okay, so we'll check the details out a bit later. And then on the mouse you've got a braided cable, DPI switch, comfortable claw grip design, full RGB color, and programmable buttons. Okay, so let's see what it actually looks like. Really? That's uh... Okay, it's one of these boxes. Okay, so Got the mouse. Quite 
quite big mouse, quite comfortable I must say. Oh, this is nice. Braided cable, USB, connection at the end, RFB, I'll show you guys later what it looks like when it's actually working. Ah, this looks very nice. Let's put it one side. Sorry for the kids in the background, guys. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, yo. This is a solid plate. So it's not a flimsy little gaming mouse pad. Also, the mouse pad is RGB. And you've got USB connection at the end with the same braided cable. So, yeah. Smooth movement. So we'll see what it looks like uh, once it's up and running. Let's move on to the next items. Up next is a cool master. Master Keys Lite RGB gaming mouse pad, uh, gaming keyboard and mouse combo. Exclusive mem chemical switches. It's got cherry keycaps and it's RGB. Now you're probably wondering why did I take this one? If I already have a mouse on the RGB mouse pad package, because I also have that uh, HP Omen laptop of mine, and it, there's some games that I play with keyboard and mouse, and the mouse that I used to use on that keyboard is very very old and not very nice. So that key, that mouse is going to move over to the Omen. So let's see what this looks like. So we've got the mouse. <clears throat> Sucky packaging. one side let's see We've got the manual we have the mouse this one almost the same size as the other one we'll see which mouse is the nicest but I think the one with the braided cable I'll use that one on the laptop Here we have the keypad. Yeah. Very heavy, very sturdy, very nice. I'm definitely going to use this one.